Hello Pisces, it's a special love reading um, for those of you that are looking to connect in with a um, with an, a new experience of love and romance um, as you move forward. Um, so this, this is a special love reading. I haven't done these for a while and I think it's time now um, to step back into this energy. Um, I'm excited about bringing this sort of information forward for you today. I think it's a great way for us to um, distract ourselves a little bit and um, move into a world that um, would make our hearts really, really happy. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is wonderful to have you here, and um, I am excited to be here as well. So let's get started. Let's look at the current energy now. Um, let's look at the current energy now. Current energy now for Pisces. energy now for Pisces. Ten of Wands flipped over. Five of Pentacles flipped over. Current energy now, current situation now for this group of Pisces. King of Wands. Judgment energy. Okay, let me get these straight. My camera must have moved just a little bit. My easel must have moved just a little bit here. That's all right. Okay, give me a second. Um, before I start, I want to remind everyone that um, this may not resonate with everyone. This may only fit with a few of you. Um, please remember that I am looking into um, the energies of love that are general for your tribe of people, and that um, we must realize that that all um, Pisces people are on different kind of journeys. Remember, um, Pisces, that there could be some of you here with sun signs, there could be some of you here with moon signs, with rising signs, or with Venus signs. So you're all um, here from a different, slightly different perspective. Um, if you have a rising sign in Pisces, you're going to you're going to be different in your journey than someone who has a um, Pisces sun. Um, nevertheless, I do find that these energies do um, permeate throughout many Pisces people. So you could find um, information here that could really resonate with you. Secondly, before I begin, I would like to remind you that I will do an extended reading. In that extended reading, I will take this scenario out into the future. Um, I'm going to look out the next couple of weeks in this reading, in the general reading, and in the extended, I will look out a couple of months. I will also look at the people who are around you, dig in a little bit um, to get more information about them, and then look to see what they have to say uh, about you. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the extended. All right, so let me go ahead and sink down into these energies and see what we can pull out here for you. So first of all, we have the sun, which is a very um, fiery kind of energy, of course, as the sun is. And then we have the two of swords next to that with the king of wands next to that and the judgment energy next to that. So um, the Pisces, uh, as we move in here, we do have a very um, strong energy, a, a energy that is, um, could be overtaking you. There could be um, an energy now that you have that is... Um, that is a energy that helps you feel like you can get through anything. Um, you could have had a period of time where you had strength to do something where before you might not have had the strength, but now you have that strength. Now you have that energy within you that you can step forward into something that you know to be the, tr the truth. And um, we do have the two of swords here. This is one of my favorite two of swords energies because it shows how, um, Sometimes we have to open the door. Sometimes we have to open the door to the truth. And once we open the door to the truth, it's there in front of us and we really can't deny it. And once we know the truth and we can't deny it, we know how to take action and we know what the right thing to do is for us. 
So for, for this group of Pisces, um, you've had the energy to do that. You've had the energy to open the door to see what's there. Um, this could be with a work situation. It could be with a relationship that you were in. Um, it could be with anything, maybe even the way you were doing things in your life or, or the, the kinds of activities that you were, um, participating in. Um, whatever it is, this truth has to do with the King of Wands energy. Now, the King of Wands energy, my first thought when I connected in with this card, um, I, I just feel like it's, it's pop, it, it's possibly a person that's around you. Um, it, it's possibly someone that is in your vicinity or in your environment. It could be you. So I'm going to describe the King of Wands and then you can kind of figure out where this King of Wands is, if, if it's you or if it's another person. Um, so the King of Wands is, um, when I, when I get into this energy here and this King of Wands, um, is a very, um, charismatic character. This person could have a lot of strength. Um, when he goes out into the public, when he talks to people, he could have a lot of, um, energy when he does that he could really influence people or he can he can um persuade people easily now this is not a bad thing i mean this is a quality um kind of talent to have because there are many things um that we do in our life where we need to be able to communicate we need to be able to persuade people we need to, you know with our jobs or um, maybe this is somebody who works to help people understand something about the environment um, maybe this is someone who educates. When we educate, we persuade a lot of times, right? So the fact that this person can persuade and can um, overcome their own shyness to stand out in front of a crowd and say, um, this is who I am. This is what I re represent. This is what I believe in. Um, are you are you willing to follow me? Are you willing to um, adopt this strategy? Are you willing to get on board on this bandwagon and be a part of this endeavor? Because the King of Wands can really come in and fix things, fix things that are broken. They can really make change in a big way in our life, in our world. Um, the King of Wands can also be an energy that comes swooping in, fixes something, does good work, and then tires out and, and disappears away from whatever circumstance that they were involved in. Because this is a person that uses a, an explosive type of energy. When I mean explosive type of energy, I'm talking about the type of energy that um, really can put you into motion, almost like this energy here with the sun. Um, so the type of energy that you use to see the truth to you, that you use to step into the transparency of whatever the situation was, that this King of Wands uses that kind of energy. And that energy finds solutions, it builds, it designs, it performs, right? And then when that energy is done, it needs to, to, to rebuild itself. It needs to refuel itself so it can disappear again. It can go away. It can get tired of the situation, right? Because it's tired now. It needs time to rest and refuel. Um, this is this is the energy of creativity a lot of times as well with the King of Wands. So um, there could be a person around you, or this could be the energy that you're in. This is a um, this is a non-judging kind of description. So um, I hope that you feel comfortable applying it wherever it fits, because it's not just like any energy in tarot, any energy in life. There are strengths and weaknesses with with every energy. No energy is without strengths or weaknesses, and we know that's how the universe is. So um, take this in my description and apply it how it really fits. Whatever is happening here, there is something that is changing and it's changing because it needed to change. It's changing because the universe or the timing or a judgment was made or a decision, a decision was made that um, altered it, right? When a judgment comes in and there's some kind of ruling that comes either from a court of law or a decision, a decision that um, maybe even a supervisory decision or a, a boss or um, an employer makes a decision like that, that can be a judgment, um, a, a higher power can make a decision that can be a judgment. Um, the, the earth can make a decision sometimes that can cause change that is very similar to the judgment energy. And we can also create judgment within ourselves, create change within ourselves. Whenever this happens, there is a cleansing. There's a cleansing of a situation and sometimes it hurts, right? Sometimes it can sting a little bit and it usually does in one way or another. There's usually some sort of energy um, or a decision that comes in and it could sting. And there's usually a couple of different sides. There's usually a couple different people here or a couple different um, energies that have been conflicting with, with each other. That's why there has to be a judgment energy. So whatever happens here that you're dealing with, there could be a situation or there is a situation where um, there could be one person that's getting something like getting stung or cut just a little bit. Um, maybe both of you or maybe the whole group is, is going through a change and it's painful for everyone. Nevertheless, the judgment energy cleanses. It's, it's like it creates a newness to something. Whether your life is completely changed or whether another person's life is completely changed, it does. This two of swords here 
um, change of something. And this change has to do with this King of Wands. So whoever this King of Wands is for you, there is change that revolves around this King of Wands. This could be a masculine energy, but remember, let me repeat myself. This is a masculine energy, but remember this could be either a male or a female because males and females can both be in the King of Wands. King of Wands is this big personality that can really make change in the, in the outside world, right? Um, so, um, let me see if there's anything else that I can get out of this. I want to know what the King of Wands has to say. What does the King of Wands have, have to say? What does the King of Wands have to say here? Queen of Pentacles. What does the King of Wands have to say? Could be a Queen of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles. We get one more energy. Four of Wands. Eight of Cups flipped over. Knave of Wands. So this is what the King of Wands has to say. It looks like there's a Queen of Pentacles here. This is a person. Um, this could be a person who is very much into details. This, this probably is a feminine energy. Well, it is a feminine energy. It probably is a female, but it doesn't have to be. Men can be very much into details, right? Accountants, architects, engineers, right? These kinds of minds sometimes are more men than women when you look at the gender. And these people can be very much in, um, well, I don't know about that, to be honest with you. I don't know what the ratio of men and women is in these in these in these occupations, to be honest with you. Um, but men can very well be in the Queen of Pentacles energy because the Queen of Pentacles looks at details. The Queen of Pentacles um, implements. The Queen of Pentacles budgets. Um, she finds stability where there is foundational information and she builds on that to create success. She um, implements projects. She maintains order in the implement in, in the implementation stage. Um, she's very compassionate. Um, she really cares about her work. Um, she can really be patient in her life, but she is also very firm when she needs to be. Because ultimately, when she, she knows that when she doesn't have stability, whether this is within a company or within a household or within a relationship, if she doesn't have stability, if she doesn't know where she's going, and if she doesn't know um, how the numbers are all working out for her, that is then a crisis mode. Right. So that's this kind of person that we have here. This could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, it could be any anybody, but they're taking on this energy. They could even be a queen of pentacles at home and they could be a queen of wands. I mean, they could be a queen of pentacles at work and they could be a queen of wands at home. Right. Because sometimes we have different personalities depending on where we are. Um, so. This King of Wands is talking about this Queen of Pentacles energy and um, the, 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 the energy that this Queen of Pentacles is in and is in this investment energy, working to improve the self or working to improve um, something here with the Pentacle energy. Remember, the Pentacles are about um, our reality, what we experience every day and what we need to have comfort and um, what we need to have abundance in our lives, which is money, which is resources, which is a comfortable place to lay at night, um, which is a happiness in our home and, and the resources we need to find comfort in our journey, right? So when you're in the seven energy, this is working to, to build that, invest in, in that, invest in our own personal self-care, invest in our training so that we can make more money. Um, there is here um, something that the Queen of Pentacles is doing is she is building herself and she is investing in herself and working um, to to make things better for herself. And there could be a little bit of a delay with the Seven of Pentacles. Sometimes that creates a little bit of um, a waiting period as you work to do that. Um, there is a Four of Wands here. So this is the Queen of Pentacles here looking to create stability um, in her life, looking to create some sort of foundation or some sort of shelter that she can wrap around herself so that whatever she She's doing whatever actions she's taking or desires she has um, to, to move forward. She can feel safe in doing that. She can feel that when she comes home at night, everything is going to be okay for her. Or when she's in a relationship, everything is going to be okay. That things are settled, that things are firmed up, that she knows exactly what the relationship is. She knows what she can do and what she shouldn't do, right? That's when we say work agreements, contracts, um, new foundation of businesses. It's creating a, um, a system of stability around the actions that we take. So when we 
get up in the morning and we go to work, we can feel good about our lives. We can feel good about stepping through the doors of an office, knowing exactly what our job is. We can feel good coming home at night um, and entering into our home, knowing that we could have someone there who loves us and that we love and that we feel comfortable in the way we are and the actions that we take. So that's really what the Four of Wands is to me. Um, this There is a, a message coming forward here of passion uh, with the Wands and a message of excitement. It's just a page. It's nothing... Um, it's nothing super, um, you know, it's not an ace. It's not, it's not a knight. It's a, it's a page. So this could be, there could be a young person around you that's very excited about life or very enthused about life. This could be a message from the King of Wands um, about um, he, that he might see that you're passionate about something, that he might see that you're excited about what you're doing or you're excited about this training or you're excited about something new coming in your life. Um, this King of Wands, if this, if you've re realized or if you decided that this was you, the King of Wands, um, you could be, be realizing that when you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy and working to improve yourself and creating this foundation for yourself, that you're finding new passion in life. You're finding more strength to continue forward. Um, so the, this could be two fractions within you that are really alive right now and really building, um, abundance and energy within you would be the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Um, this is a masculine and a feminine energy, which which would be able to balance you out, um, Pisces. So it just kind of can be, it just <clears throat> it just really depends on how you are building and how you're merging with this reading, um, how it's going to impact you. So um, I'm going to leave that current energy there and let's move into the next immediate future here, which is the next oh ten days, two weeks, something like that. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. Let me keep these. I think I want to keep these energies out, but then I don't want to lose these cards. I'll keep just the four out. Okay. All right, let's see what the future holds here. What does the future hold for this group of Pisces people? What does the future hold? What does the future hold for this group of Pisces people? The next seven to ten days. on the floor. Give me a moment here. Remember this 10 of wands flipped, flipped over before and so did the five. Well, the five of pentacles flipped over before too. So we have five here. We have a five and a 10, which talks about change and then um, an end to the change or it, it ending out. Okay. Let's get the last energy here. Strength. So that's that's a lot like the sun energy, the strength. Remember, the next you know ten days to two weeks is not a very long period of time, so um, we have to remember that we we are looking at a short term forecast here. This is to help you um, as you move forward into something, and sometimes we're looking at smaller situations, sometimes we're looking at bigger situations. So. Um, it's, it's just good for you to kind of apply this how it fits. So as we move into the into the next immediate future, you are in the Four of Cups energy. Now, this is an energy of um, it's, it's an energy of, of stillness, but it's not a happy stillness. It's an energy of quiet, but it's not happy. There is an urgency with the quiet when you have the Four of Cups. It's like you're you're not moving forward because you're not sure what to do. You're not sure what option to take. You're not sure what to decide on. Um, you're not sure what to say. Um, you could, but you're feeling intense inside. Um, you're, you're feeling a, a sense of dissatisfaction inside and, and you're really wanting to move forward. Um, but there's not a whole lot that you can do or that you feel like you can do at this point. And so um, you're in a very still place in your life right now um, in the, for maybe the next couple of days or for the next seven to 10 days. Um, you, you have this five of swords energy and over the top of the five of swords is a hermit. Um, next to the Five of Swords is the Ten of Wands. So um, the Hermit is, is over the top of the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Now the Five of Swords talks about um, an energy of, of like painful confusion. Um, sometimes they can talk about, um, sometimes we know that we have to make a decision. 
um, and that we know that the decision is for our own best good. So I'm giving an example now of the Five of Swords because I think that sometimes we can easily misunderstand the Five of Swords. Um, so I'm going to give an example and then maybe you can take this example and apply it in, in a way that it might fit with you. Um, sometimes we can make a des decision. Look at this lady in this Five of Swords. She's sitting outside the door. She's wrapped in her uh, in her um, in, in a warm robe, which might be a nightgown, it might be a long coat that she wears with a scarf over her head, and she's sitting outside the door. Um, she this is a lady who could have made a decision that she's not going to tolerate this anymore. She's not going to tolerate some sort of abuse, or she's not going to tolerate somebody taking advantage of her, or taking her for granted, or um, working her really hard. She might um, be ready to retire in her age, and she might be feeling very tired within herself, and she might be feeling that like um, she is now ready in her life to make changes. Um, so perhaps there are there there is this group of Pisces people that are ready now to make changes in their lives, no matter if they're retirement age or not. This is not about age. Um, that was just part of the example. This is this is the feeling that there is there is needs to now be some change, and this change does affect how you think and what you believe and how you process the situation that's going on around you. And so, with the Five of Swords, you've gotten to the point now where you realize that expression is needed. You need to say something. You need to say something because you've had a realization with the Ace of Swords. You've had a realization. You've seen the truth in something. And now there's something that needs to be said because the swords are about expression and thought and belief. So once you say this with the Five of Swords, once you come forward and you find the strength and you say it, and of course, it's not always perfect how we say it. These things with the Five of Swords are sometimes really difficult to say. Sometimes they're the, they're the people that are we love the most that we have to say things to like this. And sometimes there can be consequences. And I feel like this lady is sitting outside the door because maybe she had an argument with someone that she loved. Maybe she had an argument with her spouse. Or maybe she had to put her foot down with her child. And she's sitting outside the door feeling like, um, maybe I'm not welcome anymore. Maybe I've said this and I know that's in my heart that I need to say, but maybe now I, there are consequences here that I'm not welcome anymore. Was this that I had to say, was this worth it? Was this battle worth it for me? Now I feel selfish. Now I feel like I've lost a, a friend and I'm sitting here all by myself. My friends, this is the pain of the five of swords. Because if we continue to sell ourselves in a way that's not comfortable, if we continue to do something that we're not, that we don't feel good about ourselves, we do feel that loneliness inside ourselves, whether we are in a relationship with someone or not. That loneliness, that sense of grief that we have when we put ourselves into situations that aren't healthy for us is just as painful, we can't forget, as it feels as the consequences are of us speaking up for ourselves. So with the Five of Swords for the first couple of days or for the first hour, for the first week after you go into the Five of Swords, you could be feeling these feelings of loss, feelings of abandonment, feelings of confusion. Like, why was this uh, something that I felt like I had to fight? Because now I've lost something. But as the time goes on and you strengthen and you realize, no, I haven't lost anything. I have gained something. I have gained self-respect. I have gained rest. I have gained peace in my life. I have gained my own voice. And then as you move forward in life, usually with the Five of Swords, there is a reunion. There is a healing that happens because of it. But there was a need to take the Band-Aid off. There was a need to pull the carpet away and roll the carpet up and see what was underneath the carpet. And you had the courage and you had the bravery to step into that. So this Five of Swords, what does it lead to? Ten of Wands. It allows you to start taking away, to start taking away those burdens Right, Those tasks, those jobs, those activities that you thought you had to do, but then it felt so cruel that you were doing them, you can allow yourself to start removing those from yourself. So every time you have a Five of Swords conversation, one of these wands can roll off your back. And just as we can remove energetic threads from ourselves and we can feel the pain of that, these Ten of Wands, as we remove them from our shoulders, they can hurt a little bit to take them away. It's not so easy to get out of the Ten of Wands. Sometimes we say, oh, there's a Ten of Wands. There's a time in your life that's just ending of you being overloaded and, and are, you know, you being doing all kinds of things that you don't want to do. And now that's coming to an end. It's not that freaking easy. 
That's why so many of us are in the Ten of Wands, because we don't understand. It can be hard. It can be hard to remove those wands. But what comes from it? Freedom, health, vitality, new life, a new way of living. The freedom path is there. And what happens to the people that are around us that we had to fight with this Five of Swords? They begin to see us happy. They begin to see us free. They begin to see the value in the Five of Swords. Believe me, my friends, I have been down this path many times and I've had many of these lessons in my life. And I can sit here today and tell you I have been through some tragic ones in my life, just like you have. And I've had to step into the Five of Swords recently and I am now seeing the return of it. I am now seeing the return of it thanks to my spiritual team and what I believe in and how I've been forced to get down on my knees and ask for help to get through this. And it's brought me into a beautiful place and it's hard to get the Ten of Wands. So I'm telling you with an open heart now, my friends, Pisces, the people that I connect with very dearly in my work, that the Ten of Wands can be hard but it's so very beautiful when it begins to work. So I'm just saying to you that I understand that while we can be flippant with these kinds of energies, that I'm in this energy for you. And I understand how difficult can, it can be, especially when you're in such an emotional sign and I'm an Aquarius. And when I get into the emotions, it's hard for me to be in emotions because it's not something I naturally do. But let me tell you when I've been through this and I've been through this, just like you, I can get in my emotions now and I can sit in front of you and I can tear up in front of you. And I usually do with you, Pisces, because your energy is beautiful to me. So whenever you can remove a wand, good for you. Pat on your back. First place ribbon, star for you. It takes a while to get the 10 of wands. It's taken me a long time to move out of the Ten of Wands. And I think for myself, I've finally done it. And for me, it's taken a good two years for me to get out of the Ten of Wands, maybe three years. Because I'm really damn slow, Pisces, because I have Aquarius and then I have Capricorn Moon. So I'm really slow. Okay, so don't think it has to take that long for you. Um, but every time you remove a wand, it feels really good, right? So it's not that you can sit there and drop the wands all at once. Maybe you can. If it's like a job that you have, that you're getting out of that job, you can do that more quickly, but you have to, it's good then to realize how you got into the 10 of wands because you can easily then get back into the 10 of wands. If you don't go through this learning process, not only what it is that's creating this tired energy around yourself, but how you got there. So it's important that there's a learning uh, process here that you go through so that you can see, okay, how did I get myself into this? because now I'm ready to create my life differently. Now I'm ready to put myself first. Right now I'm ready that I understand what a beautiful experience I'm having and this body that I get to live in and this journey that I get to go on and how I can create it for myself. Now that I understand that, I realize how important it is for me to stay out of the 10 of wands, right? So that's why this learning is here. And I think that you're forever changed. I think this is a group of Pisces that I can sit here and say these things to you because this is a changed people. And look at the strength that we have here. Look at the willpower that you have. Look at this ability that you're doing this in such a kind and compassionate way. Yes, we can do the five of swords, but we don't have to cut. We can just speak. And there's a way we can speak with firmness, with calm, with quiet but we can dominate the conversation in that quiet because with the strength energy, it's not a whole lot of fluff. It's not a whole lot of words. It can be a very quiet, very simple kind of a statement. I do not feel happy in this situation. This hurts my heart. However you want to say it, it can be just very simple. I need a break. I need some quiet. I'll call you in a month. Whatever you're saying, it doesn't have to offend the person. It doesn't have to create an argument with a person. It can just be an expression of what you intend to do. 
and you don't even really need to explain overly much either, right? This is learning how to um, acknowledge the beast within, acknowledge the need and the, and the ferocity and the velocity of what needs to be said for yourself because you're in the Ten of Wands. So you acknowledge that beast, you appreciate it because without it, would you be able to do this? Would you be able to do this? No, that's what the beast does. He releases the energy so that we can make change in our lives. But then there's a way that we can harness the beast and we can use it in a way that doesn't create further chaos. Sometimes with the five of swords, it does for a little while. When I've been going through this for myself, it has created chaos. And that's um, partly because I didn't know how to do it because it's def definitely hard. And because the people around me responded um, powerfully to it because it was a Ten of Wands. And sometimes the Ten of Wands go deep. They can go deep into our childhood. They can go deep into the way we were raised and what we think and what we were taught as young children. And sometimes we're taught when we have to remember how old were our parents when they taught us. Were they young? Were they 20, 24, 30, 16 maybe? And what did our parents know at that age? And what do we know at the age we're at? If I look back to, to think about what I taught my son when I was 24 and he was little tiny, did I teach him things that where, where now I would never teach him because I have new understanding? We can't judge our parents because they were doing the best they can most times. But we can realize that sometimes the Ten of Wands goes way back, way back to how we were taught as we were little. And it's something subconscious within us. That's why the hermit is here, because there's a need now to go deep into this and say, why did I say yes to all these things? Why did I allow this person to have, why did I bow to this person? Why did I bow to a person? I'm not saying, why did I bow to the government or why did I bow to a law? But why did I bow to this person? Why was that? So that's why the hermit is here, because part of this process is going really deep in and learning why there was a bowing. And now why is there having to be the freedom, the freedom fight? So this is what the next, you know, couple weeks is, maybe the next month. For some of you, this could, you know, my ten of wands, you know, this could be one wand that you're dealing with here. And we know there's no magic wand. So I know that this isn't what we're seeing here, you know, an ace of an ace of cups here for you Pisces. But I think that this is a group of people who maybe have been struggling for a while. That's why I'm so um, into this reading for you. This could be a group of people that have been struggling for a while and spirit is coming forward, connecting to your spiritual teams and saying, okay, we need to do this. We need to talk about this because in order for you to step into a healthy romantic relationship, there's something here that needs to happen first. And this is my job as a, as a, as a reader for me to have these, for me to be authentic and say, okay, these are the cards that are coming out. Let's sit here and go into these cards. Cause there's a group of people here who have a relationship coming in with a possibility in the future. And so there's some, there's some cleaning to do. So I'm, I'm standing here, I'm being brave, I'm bringing you this message forward now in hopes that in some time in the future, sometime this year, we can have a reading come out for this group of people that's all full of excitement and love. That's the goal. That's the goal. All right, my friends, I am going to move to the extended now. And in the extended, I'll take this situation out several months to see how this kind of moves forward for you. And we'll look at the people who are around you, um, find out a little bit more about them and see what they have to say about you and what they think about you. All right, Pisces, I hope this has been helpful for you. And I look forward to um, down the road, hopefully later this year, um, having a reading come out for you that's exciting. That's a heart bursting energy um, of new love and, and um, new romance. But for now, I think this is um, something here that um, is part of this process for you. It's like the foreplay, right? 
Okay, my friends, thank you very much. It's, it's always a pleasure to read from you, my dear, beautiful um, soul family. Thank you.